slip way by digging out um, some of that because it's a bit shallow there. I know that um, uh, people when they're going with the trailers, it's sort of like they're going too far, they get stuck and they can't get the trailer back out. Um, so it's, it needs like a concrete slip. But when they do the concrete slip, it needs to be put ridges in it because um, they, uh, it's very hard and quite steep. And they, when they go in to put the trailers in, they get, it's a bit of a problem trying to get out. So it needs, rather than having flat concrete, it needs to be ridged concrete to give grip to the tires when they're putting the trailers in. But it's just being out the um, uh, allowing, because it's quite shallow um, and having a bit of a slope going in so you can get proper boats rather than flat bottom boats in there. Um, at the moment, we're not, um, uh, I'm not progressing this at the moment. Uh, it, it will be progressed uh, once uh, the adventure golf course um, uh, is up and running. No, I'm just saying, I'm talking about it now. If you could add that to yeah. any investigation. I don't work in groups. Ongoing. Ongoing, right. Mm. Welcome all, ongoing. Right. To note the management. Well, Welcome all. Huh? Why is it still ongoing? Because this has been two or three years ongoing. It's because they rendered the walls on the on the welcome wall. It's got to be at least two years ago, if not longer. Um so how long is this going to be ongoing? How long as it takes because we've got other projects at the moment, and like because no one's really come forward with any proper ideas. So it's just to... I've suggested quite a few people to um, do paintings on yeah, the wall. But it, it, it's that's not something that will take time. It's been three years to do, really. Right. Well, it, for the moment, it's going to be ongoing, and then we'll see things yeah. happen. Yeah. 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 Perhaps perhaps I have. I've suggested. I've suggested I've suggested the person that was doing, um, and I sent the photograph. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I sent, I sent them into Helen. Mm. Um, obviously, Helen's left now. So whether she passed that one or not, I don't know. We'd need three people. We'd need more than one person, really, you know, to come up with a idea yeah. for it. Yeah, but well, if yeah, you can't make some recommendations, we could come up with. We can actually discuss it again as an agenda item and see. If anyone's got any suggestions, any artists out there, um, come forward. Banksy, yeah, Banksy, we love Banksy. Yeah, okay, right, let's move on to oh, sorry. finances, management accounts. Note them. Okay, Matt, would you like to come to the table? Right, okay, right. You have all read the background information on what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. It's about seven months. Yeah, and um, the council's agreed. Um, do, do, do. Where is it? Hold on. We'll let the council speak. Yeah, council speak. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so basically, at finance committee um, back in May 2020, it was agreed that um, some of the land at 40 Acre Field would be used for, as the relocation of slow worms from the Fairmile development site. Um, and this would remove up to two hectares of land from the agricultural tenancy on 40 acre field. So in order to set the site up and maintain it for slow worms, there will need to be um, access by contractor vehicles and contractors. Um, and that goes, that would go through the land that is, remains part of the tenancy. Um, so the, te the tenant is concerned about inexperienced contractors going through where the animals are who need a bit of their cattle. Um, and he's concerned about both the risk to his livestock from 
um, access by contractors, but also whether they could cause any harm to people trying to get through to work on the field. Um, we did consider a temporary electric fence, um, but this has been ruled out because of the risk of um, stealing the batteries or, or power packs for it. Um, and also, if depending on whether he keeps um, cattle in the field or sheep in the field, he would need different sorts of electric fence. So um, park manager myself and um, our tenants met earlier this year to discuss the options. And back in June 2020 at RNA, there was a proposal to consider widening the footpath at the side of 40 acre field. Um, this was agreed to be a good option, but due to the funding needed, was put on the put on the back burner basically because it's it will be really expensive to resurface that. A three meter wide path. So our tenants suggested, and it seemed a good plan, that we could widen the footpath at this stage, not actually put a new surface on, but just widen the path, make it um, wide enough for vehicles to go up. This has been agreed by Oxfordshire County Council, who are, are responsible for footpaths. Um, and this would give us a, the dual benefit of a wider access up to the Sowern area and potentially in the support up to the Sioux Rider um, area, Memorial Garden, um, which would make it possibly more accessible for, um, for motorised wheelchairs, etc. Um, and it would provide us with a new fence um, and give us the access to the give us the access to the Sowern. Um, area. So it would, it would sort of cover two, two things. Um, I've obtained three quotes for the work, um, so they're not, unfortunately, not directly comparable because two of the contractors weren't able to quote for the work that are needed to um, make the driveway firmer um, and stop mud coming out onto Tile Barn Close. Um, and so they, they wouldn't quote for that. Um, however, um, contractor A seems to me to be the best, was the best all round contractor, could provide the price for everything that was asked for, um, and was also the most reasonable for me to stop fencing, which is why I recommended contractor A. Um, I think those are the main points, but some yeah. of the questions. Also, I would like to say something that I went up there yesterday to have a look with myself for myself, and I took two of my dogs, my dogs with me. But what I was shocked to see was a woman had let her dog get into the farmer's field, even though there was no livestock, she was allowing it to run around because I do believe there may be some way the animals or dogs are getting in. What people may not be aware of is the standard report on this is that we don't really want dog owners letting their dogs roam freely in a livestock field. Yes, there may not be livestock in there, but it could cause damage to livestock if there was there, or it, the dog may get injured or something. Mm -hmm. um, so please don't allow your dog to run in the field and mm -hmm. put it on a lead where possible, because I did have to keep asking the woman that's walking behind me to put the dog on a lead, but uh, just oblivious. I think they're just not mindful that that is a cattle field, livestock field, it's not a park. That's why well, farmers shoot dogs. Yeah, there is no sheep in there, but, but you know, it's not a field for dogs. And it really did upset me that there are, um, there is a, a way of animals getting in there. I um, don't know how that happened, but please don't do it. Um, because it's, it's a, a farming Field, not a dog field. Um, and what else was I going to say? I can't remember. But no. So, anyway, moving on. Question 10. I will put you Yes. yes. Um, can I just move on to page 17 on the, on the recommendations? Um, so, I'm not a supporter of widening the footpath. Um, this 5.13 and 5.14, are they to widen? Footpath. Yeah. They are to widen the footpath <clears throat> further along. To, so 
we, to get to the slow worm area, we have to widen the initial field area, which on page 18 yeah. is along the top edge of area three on the plan. But if the committee was so minded, we could widen the footpath up the side of the snow worm area and, and along the edge of the Sue Rider Memorial Ground to allow um, more accessible access along on there as well. So that's why that's a separate. But for that, and um, that wouldn't be funded from the um, from the fair Mile development works or, or from, from that that uh, development. It would we'd need to take some still money um, out of that, which is a bit earlier, um, which is paragraph three point sixteen. If you look at the plan on, uh, say on, on uh, page 18, when you're if you're going to uh, right down to the right hand side in the middle, that's where we, we're going to bring the entrance in there. So we're going to go all the way up to uh, the shaded area on item one. The wide view on there, if you can just Put the fence up, up to there for the shaded area and then just drive through into area item one. I don't see the point of widening the um widening the footpath up there on the right hand side. I think that's just a waste of time. But just picking up what you said, Chair. If you leave that, if you leave the hedge there, it's already there, the hedge and the fence in, which I know there's a few holes in it. If you let leave the hedge and the fence in there, and we go and build a new fence three meters um, into the field. Yeah. So you basically then got two two fences. So your dogs that are going to go in, they're only going to get as far as the next fence. So it's not that. It's if people um, yeah, don't go into that field. People should not be going into no, that field. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, people if, should if, not if be going into the, that field. If you put the new fence up there, you've then got two fences between the footpath and. And also, the there's field. plenty of room for the wildlife to get to see the holes in the fences, so they don't need access. So you don't need them. Having access. And also, we just think just like the fire So, if any little cans are getting there, they might hurt themselves. <laughs> Sorry. If we, if we do widen this enough for vehicles to get up and down there, what's to stop other vehicles going up and down there? I.e., Travellers' vehicles, i.e., um, campers, uh, staff. Uh, we'll have we'll have multiple bollards at the entrance, okay. so so we're not allowed to make the entrance to the to the path when if it's wider. We're not allowed to make the entrance gap any smaller than it is at the moment, yeah. which is currently wide enough for a bicycle or a motorbike to, to drive yeah. up. Yeah. Um, but you can you can make it so that vehicles wouldn't be able to get up there. Thanks. Only authorised vehicles. Yes. Thank you. Dave. Um, moving these slow worms, has any research been done to see if the area that they're moving to is adequate for it? Because uh, with slow worms, they like long grass and they like compost food. I'm so, pretty sure there are some for that. But you can't move from one Sorry. place to another. Cat, 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 um, we'll be looking to construct high vernacular, so sort of hollows in the ground, yeah. and then uh, um, covers covers over and um, shrubs, and we'll keep have to keep the grass at a certain height. So yeah. it, that's part of why we want the lead and uh, why we want the lead access is to be able to get up to construct the high vernacular for the slow ones, also to do planting, but also we have to mow it. And the first year, there's quite a lot of maintenance that has to be mowed every three weeks. <coughs> Um, but after that, there's mowing on an ongoing basis 
to keep the glass at the right level for the flow ones. Jonathan, I know there's something that when it's removed off date, because yeah. some slow ones tend to go up on the surface and some yeah. Yeah, but if the whole has to be set at a certain height, it doesn't work. Yeah. 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 Is about the yeah. fencing to the area. The, the, the actual movement slow worm and slow worm mitigation has already been discussed quite uh, in, a, in, in quite detail. Uh, like Lawrence. Well, I can say mine is proposed one point one point two uh, point four. Is there a direct purpose for point three? So does is anything gained from having machines widened alongside the other alongside the road? Like, do we need access along any of that? If not, I don't see. Um, we we don't need access. It would if we were then to surface it with a firmer surface in the future, it would make it um, more accessible for those looking to access the Sea Rider Memorial land. Yeah. Um, I have heard as well that a lot of people work also for any college fields and put the footpaths quite narrow up there, so if the footpath is wider, they'd be more likely to stay on the footpath potentially. Um, and I do know as well that Greener Henry would really like some access into that area because they want to be able to maintain their woodland uh, as well. Yeah, perfect. I think we go for all of them uh, in the recommendation. So it's point one, point two, point three, and point four. Yeah. Right. So if someone's can we have it as well that we think what the part of the campus by the defense? And the proposal is incorrect. Sorry, I'm lost now. <laughs> so the planting that we do will we'll come to committee later on. I have yeah. to planting at this stage that we be looking for. Um, Pirate campus by, by the, yeah, yeah. so the it both hip bushes are very good because they're very thorny. And then people are less likely to touch them then. Right, so, sorry, Ken. Could go on. Not at all, we've, we've had a, a motion, a uh, motion put to the city at the second. I was going to propose a motion. Did you propose what then? So now that can justify Wi Fi 0.1.3, it's necessary to propose that all of them. 0.1.2.3. Right, okay. Well, you've got a second of that. That's all right. Right, okay. All in favour? No, all in favour. I'm debate first because I'm, unless I'm leaving this one, I, I don't support um, 5.13 and 5.14. Um, I, I think we should support 5.1. Point one and five one point two, but the leave the other two. I see no point whatsoever. I think you were just you were talking about that. Yeah, I know, but I see no point at all in um, in doing the work there. You, you know, all, all we need is to cut this down to a minimum, put a three metre um, wide fence up to the to the item one, and then just use the entrance into there and just slow up. I don't need to do any more. Oh, I'm sorry, but so um, I, I will vote against the um, the five point one three and the five point one four. There's just no need for that whatsoever. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to speak in favour of all of them. The officers here with us have carefully considered what is needed um, for this mm -hmm. area, and I, I'm happy to support them. So I'll, I'll be um, backing up um, Councillor Carlton Buckley on. On, this, on, on approval of them. Right, okay. You put it for the vote now. Okay. Well, can I, can I say one more sort of thing? We, we've only got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've only got eight councillors here today. Uh, I don't believe this should be a resolved item uh, with just eight councillors. There's another eight councillors aren't part of this, uh, 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 this, uh, this debate. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think these should be recommendations that, that go to. Uh, Go to full council. Oh, I, I just feel so strongly on this. You know, we're spending yeah. so much money on on this because it's all to do with the uh, with, with, with the fair mile, and um, you know we just it, it's just the point is just throwing up our money. I know we're only going to pay twenty five percent of it. You know, seventy five percent is coming from the other owners down there. But I, I just feel it's going to be a waste. And why I think it's a waste of time is I don't think the slow ones and I think Dave's the same. I don't think we we think the slow ones are going to be up there that long. 
Yeah, but the wine wouldn't have passed into Rosen. I don't see the point. I don't see the point. It's cheaper if you do it now. That's why it's safer. Yeah, it's cheaper. Because if you need it wider, it costs us more money. It's not hard to apply. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sheridan. Um, just if, if uh, it doesn't have a two percent majority, then it would uh, go to Board Council um, as a recommendation for the Board Council to vote. Right. Anybody else wants to speak? Kathy, do you want to speak? No, no, I'll try to go Sheridan. Yeah, I don't vote on this for this as long as um, it was. The, the well being of the other citizens. So, if you're moving something, um, we have to do um, what's right. Um, as long as there wasn't too much activity in there, because obviously, where they were before, there isn't loads of lorries and um, stringing glass and cutting glass and, and doing all that stuff where they were before. But obviously, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the area of things. So, um, if you're trying to um, Look after the welfare of the um, children, uh, and then I'll actually work at the oh, uh, take this down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. um, yeah. Can I just make, make one point? The ground is going to be prepared first, yeah, and then the slow worms are going to be put yeah. in. Yeah. So it won't be yeah. them when they're there, Jake. They'll just leave it. Right. Okay. Last, last point, and then we're going to yeah, the go. Point on the same line. There is another corridor on the on wild side. No, 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 we're not talking about that. Yeah. Not talking about no, that. no, I've had enough of that right now. Okay, everybody vote for. Oh, I've lost my. I'm sorry. Look, right. absolute... I can't sum up. Sum up, please. Yeah. Uh, I've put forward a recommendation to be second by Captain Buckley for 5.1 and uh, the entire city of Oxford. That's point one, point two, point three, and point four. I was just like Ken, uh, across the point three and point four, and reading the presentation, I thought Kat had done a good job to clarify why we, it's not a case of might as well, but it seems prudent and proactive to do this now. So I'm therefore happy to recommend all of them as a recommendation. Okay, all so those in favor. all those in favor, all those against. Residents to park there overnight for free 
parking, but you've got to pay for the charging. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I hope that's clear. Right. Okay. If, they, if someone's charging their car up, goes and parks and then they're in there for two hours, they have to pay two hours parking as well as pay yeah. for the electric. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because they're still using a parking space because they could be going. How does that work if they're charging their car? Because they've got a partner anyway. So you don't need to charge for a car parking space in the car park when you're charging the car. Um, well, different, Fiona's looked at what different councils are doing, and um, there's no set um, way that the councils are doing it. She's, she's gone with the what's Oxfordshire recommended for all the council I, I, car parks. I suppose that would work in the aspects of um, if they've been charged for the car park, then they it would move them on to free the place yeah. up for another car to come in and charge. Whereas if they were charging up, they could probably say, Oh, I'll leave that charging up and then go and do shopping in the town, which would be, yeah, so, they, yeah, that makes sense. They could leave it overnight if they wanted to, but and free, so that the free time is from when is the free time? What was your Seven night till nine in the morning. Yes. Yeah, we parked it overnight. It was a lady having a child that's really damaged down the road. Yeah, that would cause a lot of problems. Yeah, but no, it won't now because we're, we're coming to that in another agenda. I think. But that's so, one car in probably 20 years. Yeah, it's, it's, don't worry about that. We're coming to a, an agenda to solve that problem. So, um, that's good. any other questions? Right, so should we take, go to the vote? Sum up. Sum up. Sum up. Right. Okay. Recommendation. I'm sorry. Councillor Olive, sum up. Yeah, you sum up. Can't bring a wind up that much. I don't wish to sum up. I think I'm going to lose that chair. Chair, sorry. Chair. Right. Can we agree to the event? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Any recommendations on page 29? Yeah. On item 5, A, B, C, and D. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. All those in favour? Okay, yeah. That's that. Right. Right, okay. Amendment to parking meters at Mill Meadow. The three amendments to simplification proposed for me. No matter how many meters. Details. There are four parking meters in Hill Meadows, and visitors can pay and also use the parking app. My permit to pay remotely, which now accounts for around 13% of takings at Mill Meadow. Of the takings, the pass through the meeting is around 15%, is calling 85% as credit debit card. Officers consider there remains a need for meters to accept coins, but this could be reconsidered next time meters are replaced. The meters were purchased in 2017 and are expected life expectancy of seven to eight years. Okay. I'm going to move, move the uh, a recommendation on 5.1, Jenna, on page 76. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 I'm sorry, apologies. Oh, I'm second, second. Right. second fight, Dave, your speech now. Yeah, I don't think you should uh, do away with it, only because it's um, a small thing, because it should be everything equally. You know, I know that it's probably more used to car, especially now with, with COVID and everything, but you know, I think you should still compete, uh, still use coinage as well as cards and um, paying online. Um, use all the facilities that you have got now until it goes right down to sort of like zero, and then I'll say, then take that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're, we're still going to allow that, but it just makes it better. But, yeah, um, I understand. Yeah, okay, right. So, all those in favor, all those against, I abstain. 
Okay, this is agenda item 10, which is my favorite agenda item. I'm not going to take offense to this. <laughs> Fencing at Freeman's Meadow to consider, to consider installing 1.2 meter metal bow top fencing and a self closing pedestrian gate along the wide entrance to Freeman's Meadow on the North End Road. I prefer the spiky top fancy because it stops people climbing on it. No, no, just just spikes. There's no point in that one. So the detailed consideration to propose install dark green or black if not available metal bow top fencing, which is one point two meters tall and a self closing pedestrian gate. Okay. Yeah, I'm all for that, even though I was uh, originally put an idea forward about turning that into sort of like a car parking area so you bring stuff in, but that got rejected anyway. Um, it still it was a good idea, um, and it would have brought the revenue back into the town as well. But um, moving on, if they're putting the fence in, don't do what they've done off on makings, um, where you got it into the ground, it went into the ground, because when you're coming out to do streaming, and it's very hard when you're coming up to a fence. So if they keep the fence off the ground by a little bit, so it's all the way through, it makes it a lot easier for parks when they're streaming and it's not kind of things. And also the bottom of the fence don't want to help as quick if it's off the ground. No, it, it's going to be a little bit off the but not too, not too high because dogs get numbers. Yeah, you, you need yeah. about a foot, so the dogs well, can get no, underneath. Dogs, we don't want dogs getting underneath, right? But also we have that flail mirror. <laughs> We have a nice flower now, but can you do with that? Yes, so if they can keep it off the ground, if they can keep it I've spoken to Carl about anyway. Right, so um, any other questions? There's a huge difference between products. So I'm assuming if Company B is doing yeah, pretty much company, exactly company, the same thing. And company one is an obvious choice. Company B. Yeah. Um, so, okay, get Ken. I propose, yeah, um, I changed 39 recommendation for 5.1. Yeah. Okay, so. All those, um, Lawrence. Second. Okay, right. All those in favour. Like that, so that's done. Okay, good. Um, well, are we sure that the two thousand six hundred is going to be enough? If the other two quarter are coming in four and five grand, and one is half the price, are I we think, going to miss a trick somewhere? I think it's all right. Is it Carl? Yeah, yeah, um, it's both in the group. Right, right. Okay. Let's go to agenda item 11 <laughs> Mill Meadow CCTV. To review the provision of CCTV at Mill Meadows and to make recommendations on the upgrade of equipment. Can I, can I say, can we put the uh, CCTV on a flagpole? On what? On a flagpole? You will not be flagpole. No, no. It's the town. It's my little child. No, right, okay, right, fine. Michelle, I'd like to propose that we go for the um, 5.1, which is the uh, to resolve the um, four, four and a half thousand pounds to be allocated. Yeah, for the okay. CCTV upgrade. Okay, all those in favour? No, just one question. Yeah. Are we going to put sorry? We're going to put CCTV over the new um, parking range. Yeah, that's separate. Yeah, that's, that's separate. No, okay. that's separate. Well, just yeah, just to make sure we are. Yeah, because yeah. so if we go long, then it's different. It's the camera. Yeah. Does this mean that there's not going to be any um, CCTV at Redmond at all? Um, so at the moment, there is a reserve. Um, uh, so there's money being put aside for CCTV in that area. Um, although, um, however, that was set aside uh, quite a few years ago, certainly before I, um, I started. and, and um, it, it hasn't been utilised in that time, okay. um, uh, hence the proposal that it be taken from that pot. Of course, that wouldn't prohibit the council from no. deciding in the future if, if we should put CCTV at yeah. red line on uh, that it couldn't um, uh, it couldn't do that as well. Okay. Um, 
And I said, I've only been like, there is quite a lot of activity at Redline Court, yeah. uh, Redline Law, and I think it deserves transmission to the Okay. Yeah, because when you used to have a lot of activity on the other side of the um, where the hedgerow is, you didn't quite have a hedgerow. Now it's low, everybody else now goes to the red line and they get it down there. So, yeah, if it, it, it was possible to look into having people do it at some point, okay. it would be in the best interest um, uh, of protecting uh, the red line law because I think there's going to be some other stuff done mm -hmm. in there shortly. Uh, to protect that and um, also the safety of other people that are going down there. Okay, it's quite yeah. nice. Lawrence. Well, I'm all for our second 5.1, there's another second already, uh, from Councillor Thomas. But how often do you hear that, oh, you've got CCTV, but it can't be used for prosecution, or the police mm -hmm. aren't going to look at it, or it's not going to be followed yeah. up? So, again, it is a deterrent, but does it actually ever get used? We work in the Greyshire car park with a soft and red camera. 10 meters probably across the car park. Anytime someone's car gets crashed into a van, the police refuse to look at it anywhere. What's the point? We do have um, regular reports from the CCTV management group that the district council, uh, which um, shows uh, basically how uh, uh, how many lives uh, have been affected by by the CCTV in each town. Um, and uh, from my recollection, it did look uh, very promising. Um, I think you'd probably only hear about the times when it, it didn't work, rather than those times when, when, it, uh, when it did work. Um, however, those reports should be going readily to TC, so when the next one comes out, uh, then uh, the Planning Community Committee will, uh, uh, will have a look at it. Okay, right. Can we take it to the next one? One other bit quickly. Um, while we're talking about CCTV, we'd like to try and get some CCTV in Duke Street because the, the farmers in Duke Street keep getting vandalized. Yeah, okay, right, right. Okay, to the vote. All those in favour of 5.1? All those against? All those abstaining? We should encourage a lot of the local shops to see when it's raining. So each shop that's a rain inside it. You can't go through the night. You're not allowed to get prosecuted. You can't. You can't. You get prosecuted for that. You know what? You have to be an authorised company. You can't do it as an individual. You can't go out to the public highway. No, no, you, no. As in, so, so it's like it's really used in America. So if you've got it obviously on your own, it'll at least show who pulled all the flowers out. Because you're talking about the flowers yeah. outside Lawrence. Oh Lawrence. yeah, yeah. They're still shut up to a lot, and we just use Facebook to know who's Yeah. Is this your son? Your yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Moving on to filming policy. We'll read the background. No. Okay. So. There's nothing about them. There's there's no uh, accompanying report. Um, for the policy, we're happy to answer any questions on it. Just, just the last item 5.6 about um, uh, which is set and maintain such fees. There's two more after five. Okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I did a bit of that 5.6. How would you suggest that we come up with a, a figure for fees? So this um, policy, um, I will answer the question in one second. Uh, so this policy um, basically looks to uh, update um, and clarify um, our, our current position. So we don't really have a filming policy in place, but we do have a filming process. And this just clarifies that and uh, formalizes it. So we do have uh, an application process um, uh, already in place, and we do have a set of fees. Uh, already in place, although they should be uh, more regularly uh, reviewed by this committee, they will be uh, going forward. Um, so, yes, so, so uh, we've already come up with um, but those rates have already been established. Uh, yeah. A friend of mine at, um, at Turbo, a, a very good system, I don't know if you've ever been to Turbo, they've got a small green by the church. If anybody turns up there, uh, without permission to film, 
um, they politely ask them why they haven't paid and then ask them to pay. And if they refuse, they just send the local farmer just to get his tractor, just going around and around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> and after a while, they, they, they pay the money. Right. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. All those in favour? All those against? All those abstaining? <coughs> anyway, playground repairs. Carl, would you like to speak to this? Yeah. Um, so recently, the um, the playgrounds have um, been suffering a little bit um, with their surf with the surfacing and a couple of the pieces of bed equipment. Um, we uh, orders have been placed for, for parts and repairs. Um, uh, the surfacing has been uh, sorted now. Um, we're just waiting on some um, some swings and chains, and uh, we should have those by the end of the month. Any questions? Sorry, sorry. 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 I'd like to propose five point one. It's entirely approved. Um, I was just going to say actually that um, I know there's been some uh, people writing to Andy uh, complaining about certain things, um, in particular that, that the, uh, the gel, the hand gel is always empty, it's not working. Every time I've walked past there, it's worked. Every time I've used it, it has worked. So I, it, it's very sad that one person, it, you know, just pops along, it doesn't work without one person, they have to write a letter to any family. Well, it's not just that. It's face, but it, it really is very sad that it just comes to that where people can't actually trot along to the office or pop along, you know, park service isn't all there. Because, because, they, they, do it because they saw us having a site visit for the potting green of Edgy Gold, and then they wrote on Facebook, Oh, why are you doing that rather than this? Now, what they could have done was quite easily come there from where we were stood or said, oh, excuse me, we saw you doing this. Could you explain why this? But no, they have to put it on social media. But I don't see anyone here tonight putting that voice forward or even that full council because they'd rather do that, shame people on Facebook or social media rather than come and face it out and talk to us. No, and they just don't understand. That's why we do a good job for them. Well, I think the program is great. So, um, yeah. Right, so yeah, so let's go to the vote. Michelle's proposal. Oh, so. All those in favour? Oh, still an excellent vote. Yes, yes, you do a fantastic job. And with that, it's 50 minutes.